Muslim rights concern, Muruk, has condemned the Pan Igbo socio-cultural group, Ohoni Zendi Igbo, for defending Ike Akramadu, Deputy Senate President on allegations of corruption. The Buhari government recently commenced a process of confiscating some of Ekwamadu's property abroad. Murak Director, Professor Isak Akintale, in a statement on Monday, lamented that instead of allowing law enforcement and anti-corruption agencies to diligently carry out their legitimate duties, Nigerians have formed the habit of whipping up primordial sentiments. He said, in the case at hand, Ohanis allegedly complains that Igbo sons are being singled out. This is far from being the case. 23 names are on the second list, for example. How many of them are Igbo? Is Addis Ola Amos, on an Igbo man? Are Bob Angida Eliu, Jonah Jang, Rashid Ladoya from the southeast? Our Omokori and Aluko Igbo names? What will happen if the Yoruba, Hausa and other ethnic groups make the same allegation? Murek appeals to Nigerians to avoid jumping to emotional conclusions. We should learn to critically assess the facts of any allegation. But above all, we should allow the courts to be the last arbiters. A political culture which readily, and laughably, extenuates offenses committed by people of our ethnic background, religion or political party is capable of leading Nigeria to perdition. How can we, in good conscience, celebrate thieves and morally barren people? How can we complain of bad governance yet we sympathize with looters? Are we so hypocritical that we cannot face the truth? We are the cause of all the bad things, we accuse our leaders of if we cannot allow the government to punish evil doers. We will never be able to stop corruption. It will be evil ad infinitum. It means, we are finished as a people. Corruption is being reduced in other climes by punishing corrupt leaders but in Nigeria we are being tied down by tribal, religious and political sentiments. Militants always start blowing up oil installations the moment the government makes any move to make ex-president Jonathan or his wife accountable. Who did this to Nigeria?